because I know some of you, are, oh, Trevor, some of you had to leave, and obviously if, if you have to go to classes and stuff, I just keep want to want to continually thank everybody for being here. We do have literature on that table over there, but uh, go into your question in the back. did not mention the hashtag. Thank you for raising that. We're using a hashtag for, for especially starting with tonight's event for the rest of the week, which is hashtag go Galloway for YYJ. So please, if you're wanting to help us out, attach that to your tweets. That would be awesome. So it's go Galloway for YYJ. Uh, in terms of either party cooperation, it's interesting. Nathan Cullen did make it his uh, calling card, essentially running for NDP leadership, and his very successful run coming in uh, so close to the top with that was really because so many people were attracted to the idea of cooperation. I mean, I worked with Nathan a lot, and right now his view is that uh, he didn't win leadership, so that idea is off the table. And we're, we're on, and Tom Mulcair won leadership, and he's not interested in that cooperation model. The kinds of things that I can envision are, you know, a wide spectrum, a broad spectrum, but they start with the premise that we have to get the Liberals and the NDP to talk to each other. That's pretty much where I'm starting. I, and I experience it every day as an opposition member, member of parliament and in the opposition lobby, sharing the space, but having such a hard time getting the Liberals and the NDP to talk to each other. If we could get to that before 2015, which I think electing Donald here will have a really good impact in making that happen, what are the ranges of things that can happen? Well, one of the most effective things of electoral cooperation that I've ever heard of is something the public didn't even know happened, which was in the 1998 election where Joe Clark was running in Calgary Center as a progressive conservative and the threat was reform. And at the same time, uh, Anne McClellan, the liberal, was running in Edmonton. And the liberals and the progressive conservatives made a pact, which, as I said, I didn't know, and the NDP helped out too. In Calgary Center, all the progressive voters voted, worked for Joe Clark. Now, there was still a liberal candidate on the ballot in Calgary Center. There was an NDP candidate on the ballot in Calgary Center. But they all pulled hard to elect Joe Clark. And in Edmonton, the reverse was done. The progressive conservatives at Edmonton worked to elect, and the NDP at Edmonton worked to elect Anne McClellan to block the reformer from winning. That is the least visible form of cooperation, leaving all the candidates, uh, all the parties having their candidates on the ballot anyway. And I think a lot of, you know, there's, there's talk about Nathan's model, for those who don't know, was to have shared nomination meetings, and whoever won the nomination among the Liberals, the NDP, or the Greens would go forward. Whatever method is chosen, and it, it has to be through discussion with the Liberal leadership, and we don't know who will be Liberal leader, obviously Justin Trudeau has an early lead, but there are a lot of candidates out there, and their voting system, I don't quite understand how the Liberals are picking their leader this time. But there's a Liberal leader in the future, certainly there's Tom Mulcair, at his greens, we need to sit down and talk to each other and figure out what will work. And for the, I am supported in this by a resolution of the Green Party um, membership at our convention, which has been approved by the members, well, it's actually gone out for approval. But it says, we will work for cooperation with all the parties in the next election with this goal, not of us you know, gaining power, but of getting rid of first past the post so that we will make any bargains that are necessary with Liberals and New Democrats on a one-time basis for one election with the commitment from them that when the election is over, we bring in some form or other of proportional representation so that Canadian voters have the same ability that voters do in every other modern democracy around the world. It's only the US, the UK, and Canada that use first past the post. Well, you throw in Zimbabwe as a modern democracy, we'll throw them into it. But most nations around the world use some form or other of proportional representation. And those voters know that they can go out and vote Green, or they can vote Social Democrat, or they can vote you know, whatever. And they know their vote is absolutely going to count because of the PR system. It's only first past the post that leaves people with this empty feeling or this panic that they have to vote for someone they don't like much because someone they like less might get in and send the person they don't like much. 
it's not a good voting system. I think part of the reason the voter turnout goes down is that people, you know, if, if going and voting makes you feel sick, you're not likely to want to go do it again and again. You have to vote in a way that makes you feel fantastic. Like when you go and vote on Monday for Donald Gowing, put the X next to his name, you're going to feel so good. It's not to mention the warm fuzzies the next day. So, any other questions? Well, Anybody? Yes, absolutely. Just, just to add to that, I think our view is that we negotiate. And when you're negotiating, you actually don't tell the people that you're negotiating with what your favorite strategy is, uh, because then you might actually not get it. Um, but what you do before you negotiate is ask other people, what do you want? What do you think? What do you think I should be pushing for? Let's have some, a number of options out there on the table. Uh, Nathan Collins, I thought, was a very good one. And I think that that could be put back on the, back on the table again. But the whole point is, it's ad hoc. It's, it's one off. And this will be for the, for the, 19, for the, the 2015 election. Uh, what can we actually get them to do? is sometimes you're going to have to compromise on that. And we would like to keep in touch with the electorate, knowing that that's what we're going to be trying to do so we can get the best ideas in there.